Hi guys and welcome back to another Tuesday 2 minute tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can add shine and contrast to hair. And I'm going to start right now. So the first thing you want to do guys is go ahead and choose a photo where the hair is nice and in focus. So we're going to go ahead and load the sample image that I'm going to be using for this tutorial. First thing you want to do is you want to go ahead down to our adjustment layers icon and you want to create a curves adjustment layer. So I'm going to go ahead and create a curves adjustment layer like so. Next thing you want to do is you just want to raise up the midtones ever so slightly. So I'm going to raise up the midtones just like so. Now obviously it's affected the whole image and we just want to affect the hair. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go down to our curves layer mask that you can see selected here and I'm going to go ahead and press command I. And this will invert the layer mask from white to black. So it will. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my brush tool, which is on the left hand side tools panel or B on your keyboard. You want to make a nice big brush, nice and soft, something like so. And you want to go over just the hair area of the photo. So I'm going to go over like so. But now what we want to do is we just want to affect the highlight sections. We don't want it to affect the shadows. So what we can do is double click on that layer and it will bring up our layer stylizing box. What we want to do is you want to go to our blend if options and we want to go to the underlying layer. What we want to do is remove all of the information from the shadows. So what we're going to do is take the shadows over to the right. And as you can see, the highlight section isn't affecting any of the shadows, it's just affecting the highlights. And to make this a little bit more of a gradient effect, what you can do is hold down Alt and you can click on that icon and what it will do is it will break into two separate icons and it will do is it will create a gradient of this effect and you can move these around until you are completely happy with the result so we'll go ahead like so lovely we've added a lovely amount of highlights and also added a little bit of contrast and there we go guys 